My name is Jared Whitwer. I'm with PDI Diesel in St. George, Utah. Today we are going to learn how and explain how to properly install a turbo and a manifold on a 93.5 to 2,003.5 Caterpillar engine. We'll be using Big Boss turbo and manifold and installation kit during this process. We're going to take the oil pressure line off and we'll be doing so, we'll be using two different crescent wrenches. There's a fitting and a swivel nut. We'll be holding the fitting while we're turning the swivel nut. Sure this is all the way off and you can flex it off to make sure. Then we're going to grab a 9 16th wobbly with a 3 8 drive ratchet. I'm taking off the oil pressure line. There's two bolts and one jam nut that's part of the line that holds it. You'll be reusing these 3 8 bolts. Now we'll be taking off the oil drain tube or a 9 16 wrench on the inside. Sometimes they're extra tight. <clears throat> Sometimes you can wiggle the line just a little bit to get them loose. You'll be reusing these bolts also. Sometimes you can just take and tap on the line a little bit to loosen it up. Helps them bolts come out a little easier. You move the line away from the turbo and then we'll go to uh, removing the turbo in, uh, bolts that hold the turbo to the manifold. And we'll be using two 9 16 wrenches to do that. Sometimes these bolts end up actually breaking off but the new PDI manifold will come with uh, new studs. Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they strip the head off, it's from the heat being up and down heat during the engine life. One thing you gotta do here is you gotta kinda balance the turbo with the front of you because the weight of the turbo is gonna be on this last bolt. As you can see it's pulling away from the manifold. And now we're going to take the manifold off of the And if you look right here, this turbo is bad which has a crack right here, which will end up going through your exhaust and ruining your turbo anyways, but this was all started. If you look right here, the center divider, it started to be melted away because of the alloy they use in the steel. It's just actually gray iron where the PDI Big Boss manifold will be using high moly silicon ductile. Also another failure point on this manifold is they, on the joint where the manifold is a three piece, they don't use any type of press fit or any type of seal inside the joint. They use this so-called diaper, it's two clamps and a certain type of material. Uh, they really, really didn't see much success on it because of the heat and the shrink. The clamps would heat up and then they would not shrink back down so the material would end up leaking out and you would have exhaust leaks here which results in getting in uh, exhaust into your cab. So as we designed the Big Boss manifold, we designed it with a slip joint that also has an Inconil seal that's a, actually a serviceable seal, but yet yeah, it goes on, the tolerance is correct, and then the seal holds the exhaust from bypassing by. I always start with the uh, first nut that's our stud and nut that's on the bottom of one this, but unfortunately this one has already fallen out, which is also a downfall that happens on these engines. Uh, the studs fall out, the elasticity of the bolt strength is not quite where it should be. Uh, we'll move on. Some of these you can impact. And some of them, sometimes you gotta use a breaker bar on. And if one wrench don't work, sometimes you've gotta use two. And once you break them loose, usually you can get the impact to work. 
but some also sometimes it does break the stud off in the head. And this one with the thermostat housing being on it, you cannot get an air gun on it. So you remove it all the way with, with a wrench. Always use the box end on it so you can get a decent grip. And that's what happens when they break off. We've got them all broke loose now. We should be able to pull them out with an impact. You want to kind of grab a hold of the manifold as you lose, pull this last stud out. So it don't fall off and hit your toe. Kind of wiggle it off and then it's kind of got to come in and fit on the other to pull off there. As you can see this bolts broke off in here. There's numerous ways to fix it. Sometimes you can weld a nut on them and, and get them out. Other times you can use a stud puller. So this is called the exhaust manifold sleeve that goes inside the cylinder head. We're going to slide it out. It comes out like that and that's also a replaceable part when you change the to the big boss manifold we also sell a big boss uh, install kit well i recommend using a stud puller on the ones that are broke sometimes it works sometimes it don't sometimes you gotta weld or drill and tap, drill it out and uh, tap it we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot We got lucky. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tap out each hole. This uh, engine was pretty rusty from either being old or being in some type of weather and the stud and the head adhesing together. So we're gonna run a 3 8 tap through it and then clean up the studs before we start cleaning up to install the new manifold. You can see the rust and the old material coming out of it. This will make the installation of the new stud going in so it won't have a problem. And I suggest this on every hole. Okay, well, we're gonna start cleaning up the head. What I like to do is take a rag and put in each side, each port. That way you don't get uh, debris into your cylinder head or into your uh, piston area. We're going to scrape the material off of the head. Before we use a buffer on it. Use the buffer. I use a brown pad on, on steel, on aluminum. If you're cleaning some type of aluminum, you would use the red pad. Okay, we're going to... Uh, put this engine away. We've got it cleaned up and showed you how to disassemble the manifold and the hard parts about it, you know, the stud breaking off, how to remove that, how to remove the headers and get things cleaned up. We're actually going to install a turbo and a manifold back on a new engine that's a pre-99 engine that's uh, one of the crate engines that we sell that we will uh, show the install on that. And this engine, of course, will be tore down from here and be used as a crate engine as, as a person orders it. We're actually gonna install the new exhaust manifold. We'll show you different components that go in it. We'll start by first installing the ex exhaust sleeve gaskets and then we'll install the studs and I'll show you some points on how we're doing that. This first one's just a little tricky. You gotta get it past the exhaust, past the thermostat housing. Just kind of tip it in then line it up. These next ones are Easy. We're gonna put the tapered end in. I always put some anti-seize on each end of the stud and that allows them not to get all rusted up. And if you ever need to remove them at any time, they're not all rusted up, the anti-seize. So you just take that in until it's solid it, and put it in here and thread it in until it goes tight. And then we go to that point. In the kit, there comes an, uh, in a manifold uh, seal kit that goes on each end. In there also, there is four steps that you can follow 
that has this photo card that shows you the different steps of putting the manifold together before you put it on the engine. We're going to install the sill by putting the sill with the lip down and you can use concrete that's clean or you can use your toolbox or a workbench. Then you're going to take the end of the exhaust manifold and you're going to push it and you're going to work it around like that. Make sure there's nothing in it and then you're just going to take and go all the way around it. As you can see this will be flush with this. Next step is once you've got your two end pieces with your sills on them you're going to put a light piece or light uh, anti-seize around it. This will let it allow for movement. Okay, we're going to install the end piece. We need a, oh, a small rubber hammer. You're going to line it up like this. Get it somewhat close so it's centered. Then just tap it. Now we're going to install the manifold onto the cylinder head. Kind of got to work it in behind that thermostat housing. And then once you come up to there, your studs will hold it into place. Take it till it's tight, up till where the, you'll feel it where the studs don't go, or the threads end. Just a quick reminder, there is 11 large spacers and one small spacer. The small spacer goes right underneath where the turbo mount is and it slides underneath. The rest of them just slide across like this. This end one, you'll have to put the spacer in at the same time you put the, the stud so it'll clear. Now that we have the spacers installed, we're going to install the nuts on each one and then we'll tor torque them to the proper value. Remember your short one down here, sometimes in order to get it, you got to pick the manifold up a little bit to get it to start and then spin it completely on as far as you can with your hands. We're going to run these in a little bit with an impact. Okay, now we're going to torque these and we'll torque them in a certain sequence. We're going to torque them to 40 foot pounds. We'll start with this one here, then we'll hand tighten this one, and then we'll go here, 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 here and here. So you can, as you can see the, gun, the impact did not tighten them to the correct amount so you always need to make sure you torque them with a, gun, with a torque wrench. Unfortunately underneath you can't reach a torque wrench on it but you can get a wrench on it. Okay, we're going to install the turbo on the on the manifold now, which we'll start by putting the uh, manifold bolts. There's two different sets of bolts that come with this. If you're going to run our turbo, they're 12 millimeter studs completely through with 12 millimeter nuts. If you're going to run your own factory turbo, it comes with a set of step studs that are 10 millimeter to 12 millimeter that so you can run your factory turbo if you want to have our our manifold. They screw into the shoulder, just like that. Now we're gonna grab the gasket. Gonna slide on like that. It's gonna slide up on like that. Gonna take an 18 millimeter wrench to tighten it. And I always do this from one corner to the other. Then I go ahead and go back through and check all four to make sure they're tight. 
Okay, we're gonna install the drain tube gasket and bolts. Slide the gasket in here. Slide the bolt up and catch the gasket. Okay, we're gonna be putting on the uh, oil feed line next. But one thing we need to make sure we do is pre-lube this turbo. You wanna spin it a couple of times, both directions, and make sure that that's full. And this will give you a lot longer longevity of your turbo and not have premature bearing failure on the turbo. Down, I'm gonna start this in first. Okay, your elbow kit comes with an O-ring. The O-ring goes inside this groove. And after making sure everything's aligned, you wanna double check the torque on these. Tighten these up until the turbo's in proper position while spinning the, the turbo to make sure you're not having any ear interference. Also double check the one on the hot side also. Just got finished installing this Big Boss Turbo and Manifold. If there's any questions, uh, look up pdidiesel.com or call 1-800-511-1231 and we'll have the answers for you.